Mount Everest, which is the highest peak in the world. You are also not an angel who is always dressed in white. And you are also not an evil tower that dares to challenge the horizon. But, can you listen to me? Please, listen. You throw a stream of reality fragments that can make you stand up straight to challenge the sun. Crazy the rain and dispel tornadoes. Agree the pieces because there is a God who loves you over me to love you. But before I love you, He wants you to love yourself first. These fragments represent you, the person who can make the God of our Creator deepest in love with you. No, you're not the queen who can make Everyone bow respectfully when you walk past them. Princess who has to walk gracefully. You have to know that you are more dignified than a queen when you respect your neighbors like yourself and you are more noble and elegant than a princess when you apply sober and maintain your attitude according to God's will. You must know that you are too beautiful when there is no falsehood in your smile and there is no drama behind your behavior. Listen to the melody of my heart. You may have never been appreciated. Just forgive them. Please forget it. It's gonna be fine. You must accept the fact you are not a queen that everyone you meet must respect. But you must know that you are the most beautiful creation of God. So you must respect yourself as he over the moon about you. You're not respected because you're not a queen. But do you deserve to be respected because you're worthy and you deserve it? You deserve to be appreciated because you have been determined to be respected far before the universe was made. Maybe you are not an evil tower poking its edge on the horizon. But listen to my voice. You can challenge the blue sky when you dare to look up. Raise your heart and sound out your groaning to God. You can touch the sky when you dare to aspire and dare to take wise actions. I see that fear is reflected on your face. Clear that you are afraid to step and take action. Listen to the race of messages that he sent for you. He gave a taste because he didn't want his blue eyed daughter to be sweet, stupid, and weak. He gave bitterness so that his daughter wouldn't be rest when comforted with various kinds of sweets. He left pebbles on the path the dogger travels so that his daughter would not only use her feet while walking, but could also combine her eyes, heart, legs, and brain with slow walking. The daughter that I'm addressing is you. Listen to me. This all will end soon. You just need to be patient. Don't be afraid because he loves you strongly. He loves you. Love yourself as he loves you unconditionally and also love your neighbors as yourself.